Welcome to another exciting episode. Today I got two more fantastic things to unbox. Last week I did the uh, Pac-Man cabinet, the little mini, the Micro Arcade Retro. This thing is called Micro Player Retro Arcade Cabinet. That's what they're calling them from my arcade. And I got the Pac-Man one last week. And if you haven't seen the videos up, but it is fantastic. Really pleasantly surprised me. So I got two more of all things. I got Miss Pac-Man because I, Pac-Man's great, but I really love Miss Pac-Man. So definitely had to have Miss Pac-Man. It's got the cool pink, neon pink colors in it, yellow. So that's awesome. And one game that I always played besides the Pac-Man in the arcades a lot was Dig Dug. So I had to have Dig Dug. So that is fantastic also. And if they come out with a gauntlet one, I'm definitely picking that up eventually. So, without further ado, sit back and let's check them out. Okay, so here is Miss Pac-Man. Officially licensed, playable from my arcade. Cool little art of Miss Pac-Man there. Kind of, I like it actually, the artwork there. The game history, a timeless classic, Miss Pac-Man was originally created to pay homage to the female gamers that helped make the original Pac-Man a success. The queen of gaming has since gone to be a smash hit on her own, being dubbed the most successful arcade game of 1982. And it was a fantastic game. I really fell in love with Miss Pac-Man when it first came out. Still love it to this day. Sorry to say, but I like Miss Pac-Man more than I like Pac-Man. And the cool side art of the cabinet there. So pretty cool. And let's open it up. Sorry, hit the camera there. Let's see. Oh, I should have uh, opened the sides up. Let me get a, some scissors. Okay, so we get the booklet with everything that's gone in it. Okay. I'm not saving these boxes. That I'm not going to do because take up too much space. I have boxes for everything. So there is the Miss Pac-Man cabinet. And I got to say it looks very nice. As you can see there. I like that you just push these in to turn it on, turn it off with a coin door there. Side art looks fantastic. Miss Pac-Man 2019 Bandai Namco Entertainment. Back of the cabinet, it's very easy to get to the battery compartment. Just pulls off, you don't have to worry about the screw hole. Which is nice, because that always annoys me. You get a headphone jack and a volume up, volume down. So it looks very nice, it's a very nice cabinet. Too bad the little marquees didn't light up, but that would use a lot more battery life probably. And you get this packet of this just telling the instructions in different languages and don't eat the batteries and don't play it within the bathtub and all those you know silly things and you get these little posters of ones you could pick up they have burger time caveman ninja karate champ bad dudes heavy barrel pac-man dig dug galaga miss pac-man mappy galaxian rolly thunder some two, two more coming soon. Buzzle, bu uh, bubble Bobble, Elevator Action, Street Fighter 2, which is an interesting one. Championship Edition, Contra, and Space Invaders. So, pretty cool. I may end up getting another one eventually. And then you have the micro players, which come with four games total. So, or actually three games, I guess. Because it's Pac Man, Miss Pac Man. Uh, Panic and Pac-Mania, and then Miss Pac-Man has three games. Mappy, Sky Kid, Miss Pac-Man. Galaga has Galaga, Galaxian, Xevious, of course. Dig Dug, Dig Dug 2, and Tower of Druga. Bubble Bobble, Bubble Bobble Part 2. And Rainbow Islands, the story of Bubble Bobble 2. Then Don Don Don, Don Don 2, and Kraken Pop. I never played it in the Don Don series. The bases loaded one's interesting. Bases loaded one through four. So you're getting, I guess, four baseball games, I'm guessing that means. Racket attack, goal, and hoops. 
In Contra, you're getting Contra and Super Contra. Now, I never played these, so I, I think I would just rather have the cabinets than have these. But still interesting. So you get this cool cabinet, and let's open up the other one here. We didn't do the history of Dig Dug, actually. There's the front of the box. I'm failing at my job. So front of the box there, and the side, the history is... Frygars and Pokas are falling rocks, oh my. Join Dig Dug on the ultimate adventure to vanquish the underground monsters making his first appearance in Japan in 1982. The air pumping, wielding hero has since become an arcade legend. So I didn't know the names of the creatures, Frygars and Pukas. So I didn't know that actually, even though I played all these years. Cool side art, I really like the side art of the original Dig Dug back in the day. And these are cool too, I may try to save this box, the, the art sleeve here. So let me take it out. Like I said, I'm not saving the boxes, but I made save some of the art from it. Okay, so here is Dig Dug. And it's been a while since I played Dig Dug, but this is what the cabinet did look like, I'm pretty sure. I do like the colors of the Dig Dug. That's so retro colors back in the day. You know what I'd also like to see them do is a Robotron. I believe Robotron's Williams. I'm not sure who Gauntlet is, but... And same thing, the volume up, volume, or volume down, volume up, and the headphone jack. If you were going to play with headphones, I don't know why. But maybe some people would. Easy to get the four double A's in there. And you also get a micro USB slot. A five volt in. Forgot to mention that. So you can plug these in, which I may do. Get a USB hub and plug them into that. Keep them powered on. It would look kind of cool in the corner there. Anyways, that is it. And you can also, before I go, you can unscrew these and just play with the D pad if you wanted to. Get a reset, start, and the pump button for this one. So let me. Give me a second and we'll turn them on. Okay, so here they are side by side. I'm going to power them up at the same time. All you got to do is just press on the uh, coin door and press it straight in and they turn right up. So there they are, the screens. My camera does a poor job of capturing what they look like, so mind, don't mind that. But I can see they look like, I believe that's the Arcane ROM, for sure of Dick Dog looks like. These are the official Ah, uh, this, this Pac-Man looks a little different, though. I could be wrong. Maybe this is the arcade. I can't tell. I don't remember it being this green. Either way, it's Miss Pac-Man. It's fun. So that's Miss Pac-Man. Looks like it plays fine. And Dick Dug. Oh yeah, Dig Dug's classic. I love the music. Oh, I forgot he could burn through the wall. That was dumb. I usually don't make that bad mistake. Definitely fun. Definitely playable. Very cool. So both games are awesome. I wish uh, Miss Pac-Man had a little bit more of a demo screen than stuck on just the main screen like that. I don't remember that in arcade. I think there was like a demo a little bit going on like Dick Dug has. But either way, still awesome. Really like them both. Fantastic systems to own. I really like the uh, looks of them. And I think the Miss Pac-Man one seems slightly taller. No, it's just different shaped. It's not slightly taller. It's the same same height. This the the shape of it's a little different than the cabinet than the other cabinet. That's all it is. 
So anyways, this, that is it for these two fantastic arcades of, from my arcade. Two more fantastic ones, and I probably will get one more, at least for now. I say that, but eventually I'll probably own them all. Ha! <laughs> anyways, that is it. I hope you liked this episode. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and as always, have a good one. Take care, everybody. Thank you.